Yeah. I pull up roto window down it. I pull up roto window down it. Yeah. I pull up roto window down it. Hi, hotties, kettles, tea stirs. You're here for hot tea. All commentary is alleged, and in my opinion, this is for entertainment purposes only. In my last video, I was talking about the epitome of a lion ass event with Mill's baby mama and him being booted off the panel, essentially. In that video, I was under the impression that Latrice Ryan was the host or this was her event, but she was actually just a guest speaker. The host name is actually Tawana Johnson, and this was interesting because this sparked a deep dive in me and I realized that there's a big fat handful of desperate disgusting low-tier women and I think that's very unfortunate because what we see across the board is men sticking together through all their diabolical behaviors but when it comes to women it's so unfortunate because it's always you hoes wanting to be in competition with one another to have the best man that will drag you to hell but but let's get into it because I unpacked some things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, hit the post notification bell so you guys are up to date each and every time that I upload. One day I pray we free our sisters from the shackles of being desperate for a man. But that being said, Latrice was not actually the person whose event this was. She was just a host of this event. But everything that I said about her in my last video still stands because as a woman, why do y'all even want to be on a panel with a man that'll do everything that he did to his ex-wife? Who spoke up and got him kicked off the panel if it wasn't for us, the fans speaking out about this or probably getting in, in y'all comment section because I did see a lot of people saying that they got up in y'all comment section to tell y'all that he was a DV person but apparently the host Tawana said that he wasn't going to stop her shine apparently it did regardless it's upsetting that women cannot stand together and stick together and move in unison when it comes to getting toxic black men out of our circles and out of our realm now y'all know this channel is about being observant so we're going to observe a few things about tawana and when i went to her instagram i realized that she was wearing an outfit that i saw peggy ann hag wearing i also saw this outfit on Slarion's boutique so i was able to put everything together just like that i felt it interesting that this woman tawana johnson would have the epitome of a woman empowerment brunch where one she's supposed to be empowering women etc but you invited Mel's baby mama, a person that literally cheated and destroyed his family for five plus years, had a baby on his ex-wife. He tried to put out revenge pee on her. He abuses his kids, allegedly. So how the fuck do you put together the epitome of a woman showcase and you rocking the side chick, the mistress's clothes? So are we... What the... <laughs> Sorry, y'all. I'm lost for words because this is, again, a lot of the shit that I'm talking about when it comes to the women in our community, specifically of a certain age and era. And I have to call out the age and era because at the end of the day, y'all are showing the younger generation what to do or not to do. And hopefully I can be the voice of letting them know this ain't the shit you need to be doing. How treacherous is it to be trying to empower women while inviting a man that has tried to put out revenge pee on his ex-wife to the event while you're in support of him and his side chick mistress that were literally proven. It came out of his mistress mouth that there was a tape. I need to make it clear that I wanted the video to be out. So like I said in my last video, there were people in my comments stating that she said she didn't know about the things that he was being accused of. And I just think that is the biggest, fattest lie that you have ever said. And you said that. To have an event called the epitome of a woman and you are literally in support of a man that tried to release revenge pee on his ex-wife, that's buffoonery. This right here, in my opinion, is the epitome of a pig. 
with me. She's supporting a man like Mel's baby mama. She also supports his mistress. I don't know if she's ever been married, but she currently isn't married. And remember what I said in one of my last videos? It's always the women that don't necessarily have a man that go to great extents to be accepted or seek validation from men. And it don't even be the type of men that they truly want to be validated by, but because he may be good looking to them or have a little bit of money, or maybe they just wanna be around or feel loved. Regardless, there is an issue, okay, with women wanting to be validated by men. Because what was this man gonna come on to the epitome of a woman's showcase empowerment brunch and say to other women? And you as a woman, what type of behavior do you condone from men or the men that you allow in your life? I don't know. But I would like to know what the epitome of a woman is in her perspective. Because to me, the epitome of a woman is having value, self-respect, morals, integrity. To start, there's obviously a plethora of other things. But to start, if you don't even have any of those, I don't know. But the epitome of a woman is not to be destitute to men that don't value you or love you or respect you. The epitome of a woman, in my opinion, wouldn't support a man that would literally tarnish or try to tarnish, go out of his way to harass another woman. I can really go into a whole spiel, but I don't necessarily have to. If you guys watch my content, you guys know where I stand when it comes to shit like this and behaviors like this, because it's contradictory to what it is that you are trying to promote. If you're trying to promote wellness, positivity, encouraging women, empowering women, etc. There is no way on God's green earth you would align yourself with a man like Mel's baby mama or even support a woman like cold sore stuck on Mel's baby mama lip because the extent she went to hurt another woman, in my opinion, is not be the epitome of a woman. In my opinion, this is clear, but I don't understand how this is confusing for other people. I don't understand how in one breath you wanna empower women and then in the next breath, you're basically aligning yourself with someone that would go out of his way to destroy another woman and we've seen the timeline I think that's the greatest issue we've seen the timeline amongst Mel's baby mama and Mel so it's very confusing as to how we are here but I don't believe she didn't know in fact you can tell she indeed knew so you can see her here clearly rocking an outfit that is from cold sore stuck on a lips boutique there isn't a ring on her finger. Not that it matters, but it matters to a woman like this, if you know what I mean. But y'all get in the comment section. Let me know what you think. I think this, I'm not really surprised. This is what I expect for the most part, unfortunately. Women do not come together in unison for the sake of men. I don't know why. Y'all get in the comment section. Get in, let me know what you think, okay? Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, hit the post notification bell so y'all are up to date each and every she time. Don't, she don't know if it's a video that, that exists. She doesn't know that. She did I, 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 I sent her a screenshot. I did. I sent, okay. her, screen, I sent her a screenshot um, of, of, of her and I. I did. I sent her a screenshot. And I sent you, did you see that, that text message in your phone? I mean, that uh, my PR sent to you? There were so many images. I got to no, as many. No, no, no I'm, I'm sorry, but it, it was a, a text message. It was only one text message. And I sent it to you for the, I sent I'll, I'll send you okay. all these documents for a particular reason. And I asked my PR if you had seen it all. She told me if you've seen it all. Because when I when I talk, I want you to be able to be like refer to it. Yeah. Um so the text message, I, I was telling you that I said stop bullying me. Um, okay, know, yeah. I saw that. I saw that. Right. Go ahead. Okay, yeah. It was like almost like a, a like I was begging her like to, to like to stop going online, saying stuff about me and, and, and dragging me. And this was like a year and a half ago. I was like begging I her remember. Like, to stop, I saw to stop that. bullying me. You know what I'm saying? And I think on her interview, she actually mentioned that. But I'm like, dang, if I'm up here begging you to stop bullying me, I could not have done a lot before that and dogging you out. No, I was begging you to just leave yeah. me alone. And then I sent her a screenshot. And I told her, I said, um, I, said I, don't, I don't care if this ruined me or not. I said, leave me alone. You know what I'm saying? I sent her the screenshot. And I never said I was going to post a video. I never said that I was going to do that. But I, I guess it kind of, it was saying that if you don't stop, I'm going to do that. You know what I'm saying? I do. a picture. You know what I'm saying? Like, like stop all that fucking bullying me and all this kind of stuff, and and I sent her a picture, um, and and <laughs> so I sent her a picture, 
And on the um, on the um, document, it says seemingly sexual, seemingly sexual, because whatever it was, I marked it out. And I deleted it out of my phone, right? So I don't know exactly what picture. So I want to I want to know what picture it is. So um and and that was it. Does this have <clears throat> anything to do with what Carson Blue said about no. Oh, sex tape? Yeah, it, it ain't no sex tape. Of Arion sucking your dick. Because we want to Arion. Know, uh, not Arion, I'm sorry. Melody. Yeah, that's no. your wine, so, by the way. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> it's a 13%, but 13.5, 13.5. So, and it's, it's really good. I'm gonna be honest with you. Cause I don't like, I'm very selective about my wine. So you really did good with this. I appreciate this. So no, it's, so it's, it's no sex tape. Um, so what, so what, nobody got a sex tape. Of yeah, ain't nobody wife seen no sex tape of Melody giving doing nothing. you head. No. And you claim no. the reason for some of y'all issues in y'all marriage is because she wouldn't give you head. Yeah, no, that was. So would. to have a video like that, that's kind of gold. Yeah, but no. <laughs> Proof of life. <laughs> no. So, you know, because I know Arian had mentioned too um, about her knowing something. No, she had went into my phone and saw and saw that picture. And that's why I, I deleted it at that time. You know, but so it, it wasn't got, it wasn't no video. Does Arian have that picture? Did no, she hell take no. It? No? Okay. no, she ain't. Arian, she I probably, probably would have put, put that out. shit out. She would have put that shit out. Right. Yeah. yeah. I pull up, bro.